What's up guys and welcome back to my Newcastle career mode episode 2. Just to recap in the last episode we signed Alexandre Lacazette from the French leagues and we brought in Jamal Lascelles and Carl Darlow from Nottingham Forest but are looking to bring them back out on loan. In our last match against Manchester City away is our first match we lost 2-1 a mistake in the last 80 minutes resulting in a 2-1 defeat. But our next match is actually going to be at home against West Ham. As you can see there, we targeted FC Lawrence Ekwe Manga as a centre back to bring in as a partner to Yang Mbiwa and as a replacement to Colacini. So hopefully, we'll be able to get a win in the next match and we'll be able to bring in Ekwe Manga in the next episode there. As you can see there, transfer off for Adam Campbell going out on loan to Crew Alexander, which is absolutely fine by me. He's a little bit young, 18, 62 rated. Hopefully, he'll do well there. I want to go off for Lubomir Sadka and we'll send him out on loan to York City as well, which is fantastic. So we'll send those out on loan, hopefully they'll come back and do pretty well. As you can see there, we've got a confirmation of Brune Quill Manga Inquiries and they want 6.5 million there. Um, that's a little bit expensive for me, I'm going to go in with an offer of 3 million and hopefully they'll accept that. We can go up to about 4 million I think without adjusting the wages too much, it's only 35,000 at the moment so it'll probably want 40, 45,000 pounds. It'd be a good player to bring in actually, I think he'd do really really well in this kind of league, he's strong, he's pacey, hopefully he'll do pretty well there. As you can see here, just advancing on through to the next match against West Ham, I'm going to keep the same line up hopefully and we'll hopefully he'll do pretty well. Um, got an offer here for Jonas Gutierrez, a lot of people think that he's a stalwart of the Newcastle club, he did pretty well while he stayed with us when we got relegated into the championship, but I don't see a future for him, he is 30 so I'm going to let him go there. And he's going off to Aston Villa, hopefully he'll sign a contract there, we'll get a little bit more money that we can use to bring in uh, Aquile Manga, and hopefully you know that will obviously prove fairly beneficial there. And Iosi Perez um, is another player who I think that's going to do quite well there. Um, Arsenal want him on loan, I'm going to reject that offer because I don't think that he would actually get as much game time there as we would want. But Gutierrez just confirmed has been sold for £1 million, so that's £850,000 being added on to our budget there, which is fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, as we can see here, uh, Aquel Manga has rejected um, the the initial offer there. They want 5 million, so I'm going to go up to 4 million there. Actually, I'm going to put it up to 4.5 and hope they'll accept that offer. We've now got a little bit more money to play with following the ceiling of Jonas Gutierrez there and hope you will be able to do well with that. We're going to advance on into this match and play this and then once we've done that we can come back and hopefully we can get Aquel Manga onto the sheet and into the team. So here's the lineup there, we've got Tim Krul in goal, Daryl Yanmat, uh, Yanga Mbiwa and Colacini in defence there along with Santon as left back, Vernon Nita and Chetiote in the holding positions, the defensive midfielders, and then Kabea and Seem De Jong as the central attacking midfielders playing on the left and right of each other. And then Rivia and Lacazette, who is the new signing for myself, um, playing up there. You've got uh, Rob Elliott, Haidara, Stephen Taylor, Sami Amu, Musa Sissoko, Ferrier and Jack Alnwick. But I'm going to change that up and I'm going to bring in a new player for Jack Alnwick because we don't need two goalkeepers on the subs there. So let's just take a look see who we can bring in instead. I'm actually going to bring in Jack Colback as a different option there. So I'm going to have Jack Colback in there. And then we'll advance on forward to the next match. Again, playing on world class. Hopefully, you'll do pretty well. It is overcast, um, but hopefully, you'll come out with a win here because it, it's going to be a tough match to play. I mean, we've got um, we've got Andy Carroll, who is a former player of Newcastle and someone who we don't particularly like. You know, he, we're not big fans of him. Obviously, for obvious reasons, 35 million to Liverpool was probably one of our best deals we ever done. But He's already done very well, had a poor injury record, um, and hopefully he won't score against us today. But here we go, um, home match in front of our own crowds, hopefully we'll do pretty well there. And we immediately won back the ball, which is fantastic. Just playing it around the middle here. But yeah, early on the ball, Jan Matt was fantastic in the game against Manchester City, so hopefully he'll replicate that form there. Loses the ball there, which is a little bit disappointing. Getting back very well. Play 
Um, that's, that's a cheeky little tackle there, but does very well. Um, not really seen too much of West Ham in the, the opening five minutes there. Not really predicated very well, but Nolan, again, another former Newcastle player there. Likely, you know, do very well there. Um, done very well in the defence there. Managed to clear the ball, but a little bit disappointed with the, the opening sort of exchange there and how, how well they got through our defence. That's a sloppy pass there. A little bit disappointing, but Kabea tries to get the ball back. Doesn't succeed. Uh, Carroll slips through the channels there for Colaccini there to clean up, which is fantastic. Play it back on the ball there. Dropped it back. Young and on the ball here. Knocks it over to Santon. De Jong on the ball. Not seen too much of him really. You know, a little bit disappointing, a little bit quite in the Manchester City game. Didn't really do too much there. Bayer, Yanma playing down on the right, which is fantastic. That's a great one. Deliver the ball in. Deliver the ball in. Oh, Giotte. That's disappointing. We really should have got on tight there. But Yanma was a fantastic run down the right there. Giotte, unmarked, really should have hit the target there. A little bit disappointing with him there. There's a knee there. Bayer back on the ball. Holds up the play. Back to Jan Matt. Back to Bayer. Playing very well on the right, actually. Not really done too much on the left, though. Disappointing to lose the ball there. Oh, it's a fantastic ball. Oh, Lacazette there. Giving the ball away very cheaply. Trying to keep up the pressure, though. Trying to keep them on the back foot. That's a lovely ball there. Oh, that's disappointing there. De Jong did very well there, actually. Very impressed with that, that little bit of play. Oh, that's disappointing there. Lacazette, you know. A little bit tough. Two players in front of him. Wasn't really sort of in complete control there, but he did well. I'm, I'm pleased with that. Very happy with that. Andy Carroll there, conceding the foul very early on. I think I'm going to play down this right hand side because it seems to be where we're, we're playing strongest at the moment. You know, we're, we're doing well. Oh, De Jong, that's disappointing there. Again, really should have tried to hit the target. Opening 20 minutes, we've dominated really. We've done well in possession. Tried to keep the ball very well. Pretty happy with that, actually. Again, Cabella down the right. Yanmat bombing forward. Plays the ball to Riviere. Riviere, Yanmat again. Does very well there. Very well. Pips the ball in. Yes! Get in! There's his first goal for Newcastle, which is absolutely fantastic. Bring him in. Lovely cross from Yanmat, which is absolutely fantastic there. That's a lovely delivery there. But look at this header, completely unmarked, shocking defender from West Ham. But that ball was fantastic, just got through the defence far too easily there. Absolutely fantastic. And it's 1 0 Newcastle. Hopefully, we can get a couple more. Rivia did very well in the last game against Manchester City. Hopefully, he can replicate the same form here. But Lacazette done very well there, you know, unmarked. Did well to get the header away. And West Ham giving the ball away very cheaply there. We almost make the save, but managed to, to keep hold of it there. Giotto and Anita have been fantastic as the, the holding midfielders there. Done very well, you know, cleaning up, did very well. Here's Riviere on the ball. Riviere back down to Jan Matt. Jan Matt has been bombing forward, it's fantastic. Going to chip in the ball. Oh, too close to the goalkeeper there. But Lacazette looking very dangerous there in the, in the front pair of Riviere and Lacazette. That's exactly what you want there. You want Lacazette to be winning those balls, doing very well. Colaccini cleaning up there again, which is fantastic. Santon losing the ball very cheaply there. Needs to get back into position. Nolan unmarked. Colaccini's doing very well, actually, cleaning up very well. Keeping in control there. Oh, get it out. That's fantastic. Very well done there. Can we get a counter attack here? That. Good play there, good play. Disappointing we didn't get anything from it, but it's, it's again good play going forward. You know, did very well on the counter attack. And Yang and B were doing very well there. Shame about the, the clearance there, but you know, we'll work on those things. 
Jan Matt doing very well again, but cheaply gives the ball away there. It's a little bit disappointing. Carroll losing the ball very easily there. He was expecting to score from that kind of position, but obviously maybe doesn't want to score against his old team. Needs De Jong on the ball. Sees Lacazette. Lacazette. Oh, disappointing there. Rivia not quite got the pace to get to that ball, but that's fantastic play from De Jong and Lacazette there. Rivia disappointing not to get on the end of that. And there he is again. Playing very well, actually. He's done very, very impressed with him in this match. He's done really well. But the player I've been most impressed with is Jan Matt. He's gone forward. He's, he's challenged. He's, he's got back when he needs to. There's a lovely ball to Anita there. Oh, Anita just disappointing there. Just loses the ball. Riviera winning the ball back there. Plays it to Anita. Anita. Oh, crowded out there by defenders. But did very well. Again, he's actually playing forward, which is a, a nice change for him there. Usually in the holding position there, but done very well there. Colacini does very well. Needs to get it out. There we go. Fantastic. De Jong back on the ball. De Jong. Lacazette on the ball. Oh, trying to play it through. Riviera there, but didn't quite manage it. Ah, oh, it's a great ball there. Great delivery. Fantastic. Colacini there. Oh, yeah. Ah, it's disappointing there. Tim Krul sent off. That's absolutely crazy. There's just... I can see why, but I don't think he ever intended anything now. He was going for the ball. That's a little bit disappointing. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take off Yang and Biwa there. And then bring on Rob Elliott as a reserve. That's really disappointing there. That's, that's a huge shame there. Right, here we go. Hopefully we can save this one. Didn't even move for it. Didn't even move. That's 1-1 one, one at half time. That's, that's a huge disappointment there. We should have should have gone in there winning, but it was a shoot penalty to concede, really, and Kevin Nolan punishes it for us. That's a slightly wayward pass from Daryl Yanmat there, but if we get the ball back and get a throw in. Hopefully it gives an opportunity there. That's a little bit disappointing now. We should have really made something happen there. And that's 1-1. One, one. That's a little bit disappointing there. Not going to make any changes yet. I don't think you know, we've been too bad there. But hopefully down to 10 men. We can either hold a draw or push out for a late win there. But it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. I think it's just a, a case of holding on to the ball now. Don't make any stupid mistakes. Don't try too much too early. After some lovely play, just holding the ball, just waiting for an opportunity to come through. Very gently playing the ball through. Slowly pushing forward there, very slowly. Oh, get in! Lovely play from Lacazette and Riviera, fantastic. And that's a brilliant early goal, that will put our fans right up there. Absolutely fantastic, a brace for him, and it's just his second game. And that's a lovely ball. Look at that. It's a very good finish as well. Absolutely fantastic. And it's 2-1 Newcastle. Get in. You know, Rivier's been quiet. He's missed a couple of opportunities. You know, that run in particular where he should have possibly got on the ball. But that was absolutely fantastic there. But we're going to get hounded there. Tim Krul, Rob Elliott there does very well. I realise that Tim Krul actually been sent off. Replaced with Rob Elliott, who's an Irish international. And we just need to hold on to the ball here. Just hold on. Don't do too much. Don't play too stupidly. Give the ball away cheaply. Just make sure they're playing it out enough defence, you know, nice and gently. Bayern Yanmat. You know, Bayern Yanmat have actually built up a, a lovely partnership there. And Yanmat is doing very well there. Needs to hold on to the ball. Hold on to the ball. Play it in. Play it in. Oh, it's disappointing there. Just very well there with clearance, but they're now on the counter-attack there. Get out of this hostile atmosphere. Matt Jarvis. 
I mean, that's a fantastic interception there. I need to have done very well there. Just clear the ball, clear the ball, that's it, that's lovely. This point there, it only goes so, as, as far as uh, West Ham player, but we get it back. Santon. Santon again playing very well as well, which is good to see. De Jong there, De Jong, Santon. That's ah, a good tackle there. At this point, you can see the throw in, but. That's a fantastic tackle. At this point, that we've conceded. Oh, that's fantastic. Is there an opportunity for a counter attack? Lacazette, not the fastest guy. That's it. Just hold on to the ball. Hold on to the ball. That's disappointing there. Really should have held on the ball. Seemed to young. I explain you know, expect him to hold on the ball a little bit better there, but you can understand that it's early days in his Premier League career, so we'll let him off that one. But coming down on the left here. That's, that's a good defence there. Done well defending so far. I'm actually very happy, you know. With three at the back, two holding midfielders, it's worked pretty well in terms of what we're trying to go for here. We can't do anything stupid, give the ball away too easily there. Made a couple of mistakes, but an eight into Yote have done very well, especially in pressure than either so far. There's Yote again, you know, man has done very well so far. Sees the run of Santon, Santon on the ball, Santon. That. It's a good defender from there, it's from Demel, but he gets the ball back and concedes the throw in. Oh, we've actually got it. Fantastic. Sees Anita there. Anita. Chote. Chote. Oh, gives the ball away. Oh, nearly had an opportunity there, but... Andy Carroll. He's been a menace so far against our defence. You know, he's held up the play very well. And exactly what he's been needing to do. That's fantastic. Brilliant interception there. Oh, at this point now, he's going for a through ball, but managed to get through. That's great defending there. Just making sure that Carroll doesn't get onto those balls or through balls, you know, because he is going to hurt us if he does that. He's playing the ball now. Cross field, fantastic pass. De Jong on the ball. Lacazette back on the ball. There we go, got the throw in, it's fantastic. It's what we need to be doing, we need to keep it on the front, put, front foot, just don't do too much there. Lacazette back on the ball, Lacazette, Lacazette, crosses it in. That's ah, good defending there from West Ham, goalkeeper did well. Need to keep an eye on Carroll here because obviously he's going to make a mistake. Plays it down, Colacini gets the ball back, fantastic. Giote, Riviere. See Ciote making the run. Ah, it's good defending there. Managed to stop the through ball before it gets Ciote, but you wouldn't expect him to get that one there. Seemed a young challenge him for the ball, which is impressive. Again, through ball, but just runs through the goalkeeper there. Rob Elliott, very impressed with him coming on. Not going to make any changes, you know, not do anything rash, don't change the team up too much. We've done well so far. There's Cabella. Ah, oh, it's a little bit disappointing there. Well, he did very well holding up the ball there against two defenders. It was fantastic play. Oh, Colacini, fantastic defender. there. Glad I kept him on, uh, you know, replacing Yang and Biwa. Yang and Biwa, he's fast, but he's not always got the best awareness. That's what Colacini's got there. He's got that awareness. Oh, that's a fantastic ball. Santon, Santon, Santon. Yes. Bring the ball in. Oh, I should have really got on to that, but that's fantastic. You know, Colacini and Yanma have been the two best defenders so far. Absolutely fantastic. Santon back in the ball as well. You know, done very well there. Plays the ball through to Lacazette. Lacazette shoots. Oh! That could have been a hat trick there, but that's absolutely fantastic from Lacazette. Man of the match for me, absolutely fantastic. Been a real threat the whole game. You know, whenever he's got the ball, you feel like he can do something special. Absolutely fantastic. You know, the other player I'd say that's done very well so far is is Jan Matt. He's played well in both the Manchester City games and this game. Even if we did lose the 
the Man City game 2-1. But that's it. We've won. Absolutely fantastic result there. 2-1. You know, went down to 10 men. Lost a goalkeeper. But Lacazette, you know, wins that game for us. Absolutely fantastic signing so far. Done very well. Very pleased with that. Hopefully now we'll be able to get some good news in being able to bring uh, Aquel Manga in. You know, disappointed that we've had a... Um, change our team a little bit, Rob Ellie is now going to bring in, but they've accepted the offer of 4.5 million, let's take a look see what he wants, he wants 50,000 for 3 years, um, that's fine, I can go for that, but I'm not going to put him as a crucial first team player or an important first team player, because I don't think he's quite at that position yet, but if he rejects it, I will put him up to important first team player, and I'll do a rotation with him and Yang B well until... Colatini starts to drop in the stats there. As you can see there, typical ban for one match, so we're going to have um, Rob Elliott come in for the next match. Let's take a look and see who the next match is actually going to be against there. So he has declined the offer and he does want a larger role, which is absolutely fine. I can understand that. He's a crucial first team player for FC Lorient. You know, I absolutely understand that. So what I'm going to do is put him there as an important first team player. Now hopefully he'll accept that offer because we are a bigger club. Hopefully we'll be able to, you know, give him more of an opportunity there. Let's take a look. It's actually the next match is against Fulham, which is absolutely fantastic. And Bruno Aquila Manga has actually accepted the offer, which is absolutely fantastic. So we can bring him in. Um, he's only 25, so he's going to be a good replacement with Colaccini there. Absolutely fantastic. We've got a couple of scout reports from Joel Matip and Omer Toprak. So let's take a look at Joel Matip, who's 22 from Schalke. He's probably one of the players I do actually want to bring in. So let's take a look at him. Here he is there. Look at his stats there. Standing tackle 76 to 80. Marking 79 to 83. Sprint scene speed is 78. You know, he's only worth 3.3 million though, which is, you know, surprising. I am going to inquire about him, but I don't think that they're going to be willing to sell him or want to sell him. And Omer Toprak, um, he's not a player I'm particularly interested in, but he is someone that my scouts found in Germany. So... If we don't have any other options, we will take a look. Let's take a look at Manga for us, and let's take a look see how he's, he's rated there. There he is there, 77 rated. Let's take a quick look in comparison with Colaccini there. High rated than, than Yanga and Biwa, um, but less than Colaccini. But what I'm going to do is for the next match, I'm actually going to bring him in. So I'm going to bring him in, and I'm going to bring half Yanga and Biwa on the bench there to replace him for Stephen Taylor, who I don't really see has much of a future there. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to replace uh, Rob Elliott there. And then bring on Rob Elliott instead. Which is a little bit disappointing there. You know, Tim Krul won the best goalkeepers there by far. But it's one of those things that it's, it's going to happen there. So I'm going to stick with the team again for Fulham. You know, I think we did well in the last game. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. But that's going to be it for this episode. In our next match, we'll play against Fulham. Hopefully, we'll do well. It is going to be transfer deadline day as well. But we'll never know what happens. I don't think I'm going to be bringing in any of the more players. We've got Lacazette, who got two goals in the game against West Ham. You know, he did very well. Riviera linking up very well as well. I can't see him, you know, going particularly far. West Ham want uh, Perez on loan. I'm going to accept that one because I do think he gets some game time. He's not, you know, as highly rated as Carroll. But... You know, they need strikers, they don't really have too many. And Joel my tip as well. 4.5 million. Not a huge amount there, but we can't afford him at the time, so I'm just going to ignore it for now. We don't need any more defenders. But that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode where we play against Fulham. Don't forget to click subscribe for all the latest videos.